Shalom, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Ka Hala, Yahweh, Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Waha Raka Quidash. I want to give double honors to my teachers, the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone. Also, peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. Lord willing, this lesson will be edifying. This lesson is going to be centered around that small yet powerful member that we all possess, which is the tongue. The book of Proverbs chapter 18 and verse 21 tells us life and death are in the power of the tongue and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. Life and death is in the power of the tongue, which is a small yet powerful member. Proverbs 18 and 21 shows us how powerful the tongue can be. Life and death is in the possession of your tongue. The things that you speak off of your tongue can either bring life or death. We being the hopeful elect, we want to be in hopes of no guile found in our mouths, which is deceit, which is lies. We are speaking life, which is speaking Yahweh Shah, which is the way, the truth, and the life. And those that continue to speak Yahweh Shah is speaking life unto the hearers. But those that speak against Yahweh Shah, that's speaking death to the hearers. And you're going to eat the fruit thereof. Just like we pray to eat the fruit of righteousness by speaking truth, by speaking life off of our tongues. Now, the book of Romans. Chapter 10. And verse 9 tells us that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Yahweh Shai, and shall believe in thine heart that the Most High have raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. So confession comes by what? Your mouth. And what is in your mouth? Your tongue. And we have confessed Yahweh Shai as the Lord and Savior of the elect of the nation of Israel. Therefore, Israel as a whole shall be saved, and we believe it within our hearts. The word heart goes back to the Hebrew word lob, which means your mind. Verse 10 tells us, For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. So we being amongst a small number, which are the believers, those that have received the gift of faith, we have confessed out of our mouths unto salvation because we have confessed that we believe in our hearts, in our minds, that the Most High has risen, Yahweh Shai, and Yahweh Shai was risen from the dead. Yahweh Shai also died for our sins, as the book of Isaiah, the 53rd chapter speaks about, okay? He carried our sins, okay, and put them upon his back. That is speaking life out of our tongue to the believers. The book of Proverbs, chapter 13 and 13 tells us, Whosoever despiseth the word shall be destroyed. So how do you despise the word? It begins within your heart. And the man that has no belief in his heart, he's going to speak that non-belief, that incredulity. It says, but he that feareth the commandment shall be rewarded. So those that fear the commandment, all right, they're going to eat the fruit thereof, which is righteousness. Because within fear, we're going to do everything in our power to be delivered. And that begins by believing in your mind and confessing off of your tongue, which is bringing life. Now, the book of St. Matthew, the 12th chapter, and the 36th verse tells us, But I say unto you that every idle word that man shall speak they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. For by thy words thou shalt be justified, 
and by thy words thou shalt be condemned. All right? So if you confess off of your tongue that Yahweh Shai is not the Lord and Savior, and the Most High didn't rise or raise him up from the dead to deliver us in the times to come, because Yahweh Shai is a living power. The Most High is a living power. We do not praise dead powers. Okay? It says, for by thy words thou shalt be justified. So we are confessing with our tongue that Yahweh Shah is the Lord and Savior, and he is life. That is bringing life to the hearers. So we want to be justified by that life that we're speaking of for our tongues. And by thy words thou shalt be condemned. Two-thirds of our people, those that are filled with incredulity, which is unbelief, they're going to be condemned. Matter of fact, as the scripture speaks about in St. John 3 and 18, First, let's get it, St. John 3 and 18. It says, He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of the Most High. So that's a major cut to those that don't believe in Yahweh Shah HaMashiach. First, that incredulity starts in their heart and they confess off of their tongue, which is bringing forth death, that Yahweh Shai is not the Savior. So they are what? Condemned already. The book of Proverbs, chapter 21 and 23. Whosoever keepeth his mouth and his tongue keepeth his soul from trouble. So, Majority of the time, it's best not to say anything, all right? It's best to listen more than you speak. As the saying goes in the world, you have two ears and one mouth, meaning listen twice and speak once. And that can even keep your soul. Whosoever keepeth his mouth and his tongue keepeth his soul from trouble, all right? So speaking falsely, especially about something that you have no knowledge of, that can bring trouble upon your soul. And speaking about Yahweh Shai falsely, that's going to bring trouble upon two-thirds of our people's soul in the time of deliverance. Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 29. Let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth saying that Yahweh Shah is not the savior saying that Caesar or Caesare Bozier is your savior we are not the true people of the most high through Yahweh Shah America is not going to end Esau Edom is not our oppressor that's corrupt communication let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth but that which is good to the use of edifying that it may minister grace unto the hearers, all right? So the things that we speak, having no guile in our mouth, it ministers or it serves grace unto the hearers, those that believe in the words that we speak, the words that we have received from our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, that he have given unto us the things that he's received from his Father. And if we continue in that, it's going to lead to life. Ephesians 4 and 29 again, let no... Corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth, but that which is good to the use of edifying, because it's all about edification, which is building. All right. We have been torn down by the lies and deceit of the system, but due to the spirit coming upon a small number of men, in our case, the hopeful elect, we're what? Building the nation back up, which is the house of David. It says that it may minister, minister means serve grace unto the hearers. First Peter chapter chapter three and verse ten tells us for he that will love life and see good days, let him refrain his tongue from evil and his lips that they speak no guile all right so that's the spirit we want to continue to be in 
All right, let's read it again. First Peter 3 and 10. For he that will love life and see good days, let him refrain his tongue from evil and his lips that they speak no guile. So we want to continue to speak life, which is speaking truth, which is speaking Yahweh Shai, the word of the Most High unto those that hear us, the believers, and those that believe on our words, and we continue to believe on the things that we're putting forth, we're going to see what? Good days, which is Yahweh Shai's blood covering us in the upcoming times that's leading up to the total destruction of America. But those that speak Gal, they're going to see evil. They're going to see ill times or bad times. Evil meaning ill times or bad times. Why? Because they have speak, spoken death off of their tongue and spoken death uh, upon their own selves. But we want to continue to speak life to the hearers and upon our own spirits. Proverbs 19 and verse 5. And it reads, A false witness shall not be unpunished. All right, these false prophets, okay, that's conformed to Esau Edom's system. Esau Edom being um, the number one false witness because his tongue is filled of deceit. A false witness shall not be unpunished, so they shall not go unpunished. And he that speaketh lies shall not escape. So two-thirds of our people, they are going to continue to speak lies. Once again, they're conformed to the number one liar world the number one liars rulership and they shall not escape this destruction is coming to the soils of america the sequence of events such as famine the power going out you're going to have apparitions all around us and those that are speaking deceit and lies right now first upon their own souls and to the hearers you're not going to escape but we want to continue to be in that spirit of speaking life, which is speaking Yahweh Shai off of our tongues. Proverbs 18 and 21 again. Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Ka Halal, Yahweh, Ba Hashem. Yahweh Shai, Waha, Raka, Kwadash. I want to give double honors to the men who taught me this truth, the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect, DTA, Ababa Ball.